thank you and we're confident that you will do what is best for our nation as we are a people of prayer. Father, it's a privilege to exercise our right to vote in a free nation and we thank you for that, but we're reminded also of the words of scripture which tell us that the king's heart and the president's heart is in the hands of the Lord, like a stream. He moves it whichever way he will. I welcome the Christian Coalition's involvement in politics. I welcome them in the Republican Party. I'm I was walking along the street, and a gentleman You ask me why is abortion wrong, and I'll tell you, because God says it's wrong, and the Bible says it's wrong, and those are the strictures that we must follow as people of Christian faith. And my hope is just like the civil rights movement started as a minority movement and changed the conscience of America, we hope that the pro-life issue will also. There needs to be a revival in this country. People need to understand that their faith is more important than their pocketbook. So I'm asking you, we've stood by you all these years. Stand by us now and give us a victory in New Hampshire. We will take that agenda right into the White House. And when you look at the fact that uh, the entire slate of candidates, again, have basically all come out and said, you know, they're pro-family. Most of them have talked about the pro-life issue. I think we've been uh, flamingly successful. Um, it is about a cause. Let me tell you a little story. What we did in Alaska was basically call and phone bank folks. Uh, the character in the White House is totally immoral, and so is Hillary. And uh, those two, we have to get them out of office because they're a pure danger to this country. Thank you all. God bless you, and good night.